welcome to the Papers Knob. This is Tara. Today I am working on Pink Fresh Fridays. This is a hop that is sponsored by Joanne Bartell. Make sure that you check out her channel and leave her some love. Also, there will be links below for all the players that are participating in this hop for the month. So make sure you check out all these lovely ladies as well. So I am still trying to use up older Pink Fresh Studios paper lines that I don't have embellishments for. And so I pulled out these two pieces of patterned paper from the Celebrate collection that Pink Fresh Studios did in conjunction with Alta New in 2020. I have this large gray piece and I have this floral piece. And I have some beautiful flowers photos of flowers that I took back, I think in 2008. Um, these flat pictures I actually found in a box and I pulled them out and they've been sitting waiting for me to decide what to do with them and I decided that I would just get them on a layout. I pulled some of these floral pieces. These are from the washi and dye sets. I have both of these sets. Um, they're both cut out already and thought I would maybe try to use some of these up. There's quite a few of them. I have, um, the, we're allowed to use acrylic and this I believe came from Bramble Fox in one of the Fox boxes. But I pulled out my Garden Bouquet embellishments. This collection actually had no papers that went with it. It's got the mat, um, enamel dots, and there's a kitty. And it's got the mat, puffy alpha and gold, as well as some puffy stickers, some frames, and some cardstock um, stickers as well. <laughs> Ironically, this collection actually um, goes really well with their noteworthy collection, which I do have some pieces of that as well. Maybe I should have pulled that, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on this layout. So I'm going to pause it and I'm going to speed you up. I'll be right back. So off screen, I went ahead and I used my Cameo to cut a circle out of the pink floral paper. I adhered it to the gray large floral paper and then I hand stitched in gray around that circle. I also matted my photos on white cardstock and now I'm just going to adhere them in my circle. I have mentioned before that I really don't measure anything so you're going to see me lay one of the top photos down and then I'm going to pick it up and I move it as long as I don't put a lot of pressure on the ATG tape after I've put it on the back of a photo or something I can pick it up easily and move it. So that's what I did there. Next, I'm gonna lay that photo acrylic piece out and I'm gonna just start playing around with some different floral pieces. The label, I have already put fun foam on the back of it so that it will be level with the word that I have above it. Um, I was gonna just put it on there flat, but I didn't like how it looks, so I end up putting fun foam behind it off camera. Next, I'm going to kind of play with these um, chipboard frames. I know that I want to use a couple of them on the layout, and I'm going to use them kind of as a base for my flower cl clusters. And as you saw up there, I put a pink one, I covered up the word because the word said together, and this doesn't have any people in it. It's not about anything being together. So I just went ahead and I covered it up. I'm going to put this smaller one up here in the top right hand corner of that upper photo and I'm going to lay some of my floral bits above there as well. Now I'm going to add a couple more flowers down here at the bottom because I feel like it needed a few more and then I'm going to go ahead and pull out this little banner piece with words on it. I like what it says and I can't remember what it said off the top of my head right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and dig through these matte gold 
um, letters and I'm gonna put the word beauty up at the top right or top left hand side of that circle um, I am gonna spell the word backwards and first I thought oh I'll put it down here at the bottom no I didn't really like it there so I'm gonna put it up here at the top and like I said I'm gonna spell it backwards that way I get the placement where I want it and um, I don't always do that. Sometimes I can eyeball a title pretty easily, um, other times not as easily. But in, in this instance, I went ahead and I'm spelling the word backwards. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add some of these gold enamel dots. These are also matte finish. They're really, really pretty. I'm surprised by how much I really like them. Um, I haven't used them yet. I've had this collection for quite some time now because I got it back in May for one of the, um, I think they're called Create and Crop that Pink Fresh Studios puts out. Um, it's a virtual crop. All right, I have this layout all glued down. I, it is finished. I'm quite happy with the way that it turned out. I love the little pop of gold in the um, washi florals um, this is not quite dry yet but for the most part this layout is complete it just needs to finish drying i did some hand stitching off camera i did use my cameo to cut the circular element matted all of the photos and just plain white cardstock little journaling with that label all in all, it's a fairly simple layout. I want to thank you for taking the time to stop by my channel today. Make sure that you check that list below because there are several ladies participating today and all of their links will be below in the description box. Also, thank you so much for those of you who take the time to like, comment, and or subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that and you are letting YouTube know that you enjoy my content when you do that and it puts me out there a little bit better for the rest of the world to see. So I appreciate that. You have a great rest of your Friday. Bye.